Um, given the way you won that, uh, where Wolves are in the table and where it leaves you with your games in hand, was that one of the biggest wins of your time as Arsenal manager? No, it was a great one. Uh, winning at the end um, against a really good team that uh, once they are ahead, it's extremely difficult to beat them. I think they didn't lose a game after going ahead since uh, 2018, but uh, we kept pushing. I think the attitude, the spirit, the quality, the energy that the players put in the second half again to try to, to go and win the match, it was phenomenal. And, and it created a great atmosphere and synergy with our fans. And um, it was great to win it that way. Because that seems to be putting a frustrated figure for a lot of the game, but could he almost sum it all up that he was still going right at the end to, to create the gold? Yes, and that's what we need as a team now, that now we are building a team with a lot of young talent and um, a lot of new players that, that they leave those experiences. And um, I said to them, I have time. You know, if we want to be at the top at the end of May, we're going to have to... Um, overturn results uh, maybe two, three or four times and uh, today is an opportunity. I'm especially happy when when a player individually makes an error that costs a goal that then the team can put that um, aside, win the match and uh, and we'll be talking about it. The players were criticised for the way they celebrated the win at Wolves a couple of weeks ago but no one was going to stop them celebrating today, were they? No, and, and I encourage them to celebrate every victory because you can tell how difficult it is in this game to, to win football matches. And, uh, and our supporters the same. Every time we win, we should celebrate because uh, when you lose or draw, you know. Uh, just, just finally, um, Takira Tomiyasu is missing again. Is that is his calf issue becoming a bit a bit of an issue now for you? Yeah, it was the other calf. Um, so he came back, he was completely fine, and in training he felt the other calf. So. It is an issue because he's a professional that uh, is giving absolutely everything to to help us. And uh, in the last few months, he's not been he's not been fit. Thanks, Mikael. Thank you, John. Hi, Mikael. I was just going to ask you really what what this sort of victory and the way that you, that you clinch the victory can do for belief and also top four hopes. He put us a little bit closer, um, one game less, another three points, 14 games to go, and um, and now it's about what for. But um, again, that I think it's about the belief that we should keep playing the way we are playing and keep insisting and um, and have that resilience, that that capacity to dominate the matches like like we are doing right now. And, um, and then that synergy and cohesion with our fans to create a special atmosphere that people then want to come and, and play against us. Can these sort of nights be defining nights in, in the season and what, what you can achieve from here on in? Well, against the opponents that they are uh, up there on the table, it's really, really important to win those matches because at the end it's a six-point uh, match. We've done it against them twice in the last 13, 14 days and, uh, and it's really important. But uh, this race is going to be a long one and uh, we should know that and we have to be conscious of that and now we have to prepare again review what we've done, start training and, and focus on what for now. Just how important is it to finish fourth for the club to, to move forward? We don't know because we are not there. So at the moment, we don't know there. The day that we are there, I would tell you how important it is. Today, what is important that we focus on, on playing better, maintaining that capacity as a team to dominate and, and take the games where we want. Um, price as well, everybody that is involved, especially the subs, because today I think they were magnificent. There are some good examples of um, of them as well to use them tomorrow and uh, keep going. Thanks so much. Nick. Thank you. Hi, hi there, Mikel. Um, I know they've the actually gone down as a own goal, but it, it felt like and looked like Lacazette had scored. You said before the match to keep faith in him, not to worry. Uh, that must have sort of justified all your faith in him, did it? When I see our striker on the 85th minute chasing a fullback on the corner flag, winning the ball back, playing, going, fighting, going, missing one chance, missing two chances, going again, what can I do? I can only praise him and, and try to help him as much as possible and, and give him support. And at the end, he got the reward for me. It's like I said, it's goal. It's going to be, you think it's his goal, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's going to be very hard to replace that. It's going to replace that ability and that spirit, isn't it? whenever his time here comes to an end. Yeah, but we don't know what's going to happen at the end of the season. What he needs to do is that put aside that future. It's part of our game. We don't have 
um, contracts that they run in 20 years. That's part of our job. And uh, we have to be conscious of that. And uh, and there is nothing to tell him but to praise him because every single day he behaves like someone that wants to stay with us. Cheers, thanks. James? I'm okay. Hi. There was obviously a lot made of the fact that you left yourself with Laka and Eddie and Ketia as you only two recognised strikers after letting Aubameyang go. Do, do, do you feel they're rising to that challenge of, of filling that gap and stepping up? Well, they are trying their best and um, and I trust them, we trust them and um, they have different qualities. They can complement, they can play together and uh, and they show me every day that, um, that they want to contribute and help the team to, to get what we want. So they are doing it. They obviously came on tonight and had a really positive impact. Do you think this is a kind of performance that you can build on? Nico, yeah, yeah. He was great. I told you last week, I see a different Nico. Uh, I don't know, it's his energy, what he transmits, uh, his happiness, his all-around play, how he's training. I was convinced that uh, he could come in and, and do something for the team. Thanks, James. Art? Hi, Mikhail. Um, I think a lot of times this season, it's felt like Arsenal have won games they wouldn't have done in previous seasons. I know you've mentioned the res resilience earlier, but where does that resilience actually come from, do you think? I think for the um, for the environment and the chemistry and and the trust that they have between them and um, they believe in themselves. They believe in in the teammate, in the staff, in the coaching, in the club. And uh, and when that happens, they know and they try to find a way always um, to look forward in a positive way to get the outcome that they want. And this is all about. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, hi, Mikel. Um, just with everything that's been happening today in Ukraine, was it hard to fully focus on football given what you've been seeing on the TV? That was difficult to be fair, and I spoke to the players about that before the game. Um, that life changes in a moment that you don't expect anything. It can affect you, it can affect your families, but it can affect anybody in this world. And we are extremely lucky to do what we do, but we don't know till when. So uh, go out there and and play like tomorrow, maybe you don't have it. And uh, that uncertainty has to give us really the understanding of um, how lucky we are to be well and doing well, what we do. Thank you. Finally, Jim. Uh, hi, uh, Mikel. Just on Nicolas Pepe there, uh, his goal there tonight, you mentioned uh, seeing a new Nicolas Pepe. Is it time really now that he steps up and makes himself a regular and make it hard for you not to pick him in the starting eleven? He's in the right path. Uh, when you are able to do that and contribute with the team, you're going to get more minutes. And the more minutes you do, you have made the most out of them in training every single day. Show what you can do. He has the ability to do it. That's, uh, that's for sure. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.